Hello everyone, this is Sunit Kumar and what I am going to do in this video, I am going to solve IDJAM 2018 Mathematical Statistics Questions Paper. Right? This statistics section, MS is in the IDJAM language. Mein. This kind of, uh, this paper is uh, asked some, uh, some portions is mathematics and some portion is statistics. So from last few weeks or few months, some students has requested me to solve some question in statistics and I thought I should do this because it's my responsibility as well. So I thought I should do this and while doing this, I found it because you know, this is also using pure hardcore mathematics. So if your mathematics is strong, then you are able to do, you are able to understand, you are able to get the feel, right? So whatever question I have pick this question this is asked in IIT jam 2018 and this is a section of if, if you look at the jam uh, if you are going to fill up that form this IIT jam statistic section in the code is MS and we will see what kind of this question and what we are able to do how I will apply our mathematics intuition to solve this kind of problems right so in the long run we will not face problem having said that this statistics section is also useful if you are going to write GET exam. In GET exam, also there are some small small probability questions and those questions were very very easy. Okay? So this will roughly something you will give you an idea how one should do that. Okay? So let's try to understand the question first and how we are going to do this kind of problem in future. Right? So let's go. So this is exam MS 2018. We ask for uh, problem. So what is the problem at all. So problem is very simple. Let x be a random variable with the distribution function this where the distribution function you have defined for a given random variable. What is that distribution function? When x is less than 0, value is 0. And when x lies between 0 to 2, my distribution function is this continuous function. And when my value is greater than or equal to 2, my distribution function is constant 1. Then you are asking find the probability at 0, 1.5, 2 and greater than or equal to 1 and sum it and tell me the what is their sum so you have to find the probability at x equal to 0 probability at x equal to 1.5 probability of x equal to 2 and probability of x greater than or equal to 1 and then you have to add add these all evaluated probabilities and then you have to say what is going to do the sum so this is the all at all the question random variable distribution function then they are asking the probability so this is the regular based questions asked in IT jam as well as in your gate paper as well. And if you look at the net question paper, you will also find this kind of question. So this is very easy section. So let's understand how one should do this. Okay? So how one should approach to solve this kind of problems. Right? So I always start how to think this kind of problem. So how to think? What will your approach to do this kind of problem? How one should think this? So let me recall. Because what do you mean by the random variable? That's important. So what is the random variable? Random variable is triya kana. Random. There are two words. Random and then variable. What do you mean by random? So you know, random means some random experiment is going on. For example, suppose you are throwing a coin. You, you you are not sure which outcome is going to uh, get but you are know that okay these are the options we are get so if we toss a coin we will get either head or tail right we will not get both head and tail we are not watching solely movie where we will get head and tail both so right so if you throw, throw a coin or will toss a coin we will get either head or tail so that is like a random experiment so suppose we have a random experiment you have some possible outcomes Right? So the collection of outcomes are called sample space. So that sample space is generally denoted by S. A notation of that. Different different books by different notations of them. So if S is the sample space of the given random experiment and you have a function from S to R. Okay? You have a function from X to R. So any function from S to R is called random variable. Why this is called variable? I am saying function, but how function looks like variable? Because this is variable, because my experiment, whatever outcomes we are, we are getting, that's what value we are going to assign in real number. That's why it's called variable, because my experiment is random. Correct? Eh? So that's why. So we have an element through that. So 
what are the elements will give me x? This is nothing but some real number where w belongs to s. So this is the random. So if you have a sample space for random experiment and then uh, <coughs> a function from s to r is called random variable. But after some time, after some time, when we know the major theory, the random variable, the general definition of random variable from sample space to any measurable set E. What is E? E is any measurable space. What is E is at all? E is a measurable space. So, up long run mein dekho ke, if, if you are going to do eyesight exam or something, sometimes they use measurable spaces, right? But I uh, and ISI ka jo statistics, uh, mathematical statistics ka jo paper hota hai, they used to sometimes write measurable spaces and all that. So I hope you should know. If you don't know, there's no worry. But in IPM, they usually concentrate on here. They are not going to ask this. Okay? So now this section is coming. Now we are going to talk about that. Okay? So random variable, what is it? That the random variable is the name of the variable. Clear? Okay? Now let's see. Okay. So. अब आते हैं एक और चर्चा हुआ है इसमें डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फंक्शन व्हाट आर द मेंबर डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फंक्शन सो डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फंक्शन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फंक्शंस असाइन होते हैं सो दिस इस सो आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू गो इन डिटेल सो इफ यू हैव अ रैंडम वेरिएबल एक्स एंड देन यू कैन असाइन सम this is the property of the value, this is non-decreasing, okay? This function is non-decreasing, but it decreases new sector, either it is constant for some time or it will increase, okay? So, this function is non-decreasing, okay? So, this function is non-decreasing, okay? And this is right continuous. So, the distribution function is two properties of the value. Columns of it. This is non-decreasing and this is right continuous and limiting value x tends to minus infinity of this fx is equal to zero and limiting value x tends to infinity of fx is equal to one. So these are the some terms of uh, something and uh, from so any any function. Any function which satisfy these kind of four properties are called cumulative distribution function. So it's my humble request to you, look at any standard book, you will get the definition. Correct? It's not a crime. Don't worry about it. Read. The only way to get it. Read. Try to learn. Right? That's the only way to learn mathematics. There is nothing about it. Okay? So I leave this an exercise. Please go through it. Prove, prove everything. If you are, because if I do here proof everything, video will become unnecessary lengthy, okay? But this I leave as an exercise, please try to understand this first. Okay, now let's go to our goal. What is the function you have given? So my distribution function, it's of course, look at here, it is non-decreasing, it is either constant or it is increasing, okay? So now you are asking about the probability and this function is right continuous, okay? So, According to that, if I have to evaluate, so if I have to evaluate, so this is the thing, so let me write that my function, what is the distribution function you have given? Distribution function you have given me this. Then we have given me this, 1 by 4, 4x minus x square by 8, if x is lying between this, and then you have given me this. Okay? ये आपने दिया हुआ है अब इसकी हेल्प से हमें निकालना है पहला प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो ये हम लोग कैसे निकालेंगे बताइए दिस फंक्शन इज राइट कंटिन्यूस ठीक है ना तो अगर राइट साइड से अप्रोच करेंगे वैल्यू दिस इज नथिंग सो एफ ऑफ जीरो माइनस एफ ऑफ जीरो माइनस करेक्ट है तो ये जो डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फंक्शन होता है वो राइट कंटिन्यूस होता है सो और जो कॉम्बिनेटिव डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन मतलब नॉन डिक्रीजिंग सो दिस इज लाइक मोनोटोन फंक्शन अगर इसको मैं मैथमेटिक्स की भाषा में बोलूं तो दिस इज लाइक मोनोटोन फंक्शन और मोनोटोन फंक्शन क्या होता है मोनोटोन फंक्शन को जरूरी नहीं कि कंटिन्यूस हो कभी-कभी डिसकंटिन्यूस भी हो सकता है इनफैक्ट देयर आर मोनोटोन फंक्शंस व्हिच आर डिसकंटिन्यूस 
और जो उसकी डिसकंटिन्यूटी होती है काउंटेबल सेट्स होती है मतलब आई दफ वन आइट और एटमोस्ट जो भी काउंटेबल फाइन सो दीज आर द स्मॉल स्मॉल थिंग्स यू शुड लर्न इफ सपोज मोनोडोन फंक्शन इज डिसकंटिन्यूअस एट अ सर्टेन पॉइंट हाउ यू गेट ए वैल्यू एट द वैल्यू एट दैट पॉइंट सो प्रोबेबिलिटी एट एक्स इक्वल टू 0 इज नथिंग बट यू फाइंड द फॉर कॉम्बिनेटिव डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एट 0 एंड लुक एट द लेफ्ट हैंड डेरिवेटिव बाय दैट है ना लेफ्ट हैंड लिमिट ऑफ सो व्हाट इज द एफ 0 एफ 0 फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ 0 This is nothing but one by four, and what is f of zero minus? That's nothing but zero. So this is equal to one by four. So probability of at x equal to zero is nothing but one by four. ठीक है? तो मैं यहाँ लिख देता हूँ. So probability of x equal to zero is one by four. ठीक है ना? अच्छा. चलो ये 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 portion मेरा निकला. Now we have to evaluate probability of x equal to one point five. अब देखो 1.5 पॉइंट फाइव का गौर करना वन पॉइंट फाइव कहाँ पर लाइक कर रहा है जीरो से टू के बीच में और जीरो से टू के बीच में स्ट्रिक्टली जीरो से टू के बीच में लाइक कर रहा है और वहाँ पर ये फंक्शन कंटिन्यूस है जहाँ पे भी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फंक्शन कंटिन्यूस हो गया सर्टेन पॉइंट पे वहाँ पे प्रॉबलिटी जो होती है वो जीरो होती है सो दिस प्रॉबलिटी इजल टू जीरो सो दिस आई लीव इज एन एक्सरसाइज ठीक है ना इसको बताना क्यों है इसको कॉमेंट में बताना लिखना अगर आपकी कॉमेंट सही होगी आई अप्रिशिएट अगर नहीं आता है आई लीव द करेक्ट आंसर और आई लीव इट अनदर वीडियो ने कि कैसे हमें चेक करना है किसी भी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फंक्शन आपने दे दिया उस पॉइंट पे पार्टिकल वैल्यूज हम लोग कैसे निकालेंगे कंटिन्यूटी से कैसे निकालेंगे डिसकंटिन्यूटी से कैसे पता चलेगा एंड सो एन एंड सो फोर्थ इट्स वेरी इजी बट आई लीव दिस इन एक्सरसाइज प्लीज एट लीस्ट यू शुड थिंक आई गिव इन दिनफ बैकग्राउंड ऑन इट कि कैसे फाइंड करना है डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फंक्शन की क्या क्या प्रॉपर्टीज होती है आई गिव इन दिनफ बैकग्राउंड ठीक है सो प्रॉडक्ट ऑफ एक्स एट एक्स वन टू फाइंड सो एट एक्स इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट फाइव इट इज इक्वल टू जीरो अच्छा एक्स इक्वल टू टू पे निकालते हैं एक्स इक्वल टू टू पे देख लीजिए एक्स इक्वल टू टू इसका डिस्कंटिन्यूटी आएगा सो व्हाट इज दिस जब डिस्कंटिन्यूटी आ रहा है तो एफ ऑफ टू माइनस एफ ऑफ टू माइनस सिंपल व्हाट इज दिस एफ ऑफ टू एक्स एक्स एफ ऑफ टू टू वन है एफ ऑफ टू माइनस अगर आप निकालोगे कितना आएगा इधर से लेफ्ट हैंड लिमिट लेफ्ट हैंड लिमिट पे तो ए वैल्यू है यहाँ पर टू फुट कर दो वन बाय फोर प्लस ये आपका कितना आ गया एट माइनस फोर एट करेक्ट है सो ये वैल्यू कहाँ से आया दिस अगेन आई यूज इन एक्सरसाइज दिस इज अगेन द लेफ्ट कंटिन्यूटी करेक्ट है तो आपको पता होनी चाहिए देखिए कंटिन्यूटी डिफ्रेंशियलिटी अगर आप आई टी जन स्टेटिस्टिक्स का पेपर दे रहे हो और आप सोचते हो कि मैथमेटिक्स मेरा अच्छा नहीं है और आप बहुत अच्छा स्कोर कर लोगे बहुत ही गलत आप भ्रम न हो तो वो चीज़ नहीं होना चाहिए मैथमेटिक्स तो बहुत स्ट्रॉन्ग होना चाहिए कोई भी एग्जाम आप लाइफ में दोगे तो वो चीज़ बहुत क्योंकि मैथमेटिक्स अगर नहीं आता यू आर नॉट एबल टू मूव इवन दो यू आर नॉट एबल टू राइट इवन दो वन लेटर ठीक है ना तो अगर नहीं आता इट्स नॉट ए क्राइम आई विल हेल्प फ्रॉम माई साइड वट एवर पॉसिबल वे बट एट लीस्ट यू शूड ट्राई फर्स्ट सो दैट्स योर जॉब डू एट लीस्ट यू शूड लर्न वट डू मीन दैट कंटिन्यूट इन ऑल दैट नाउ इफ सो फार यू हैव नॉट लर्न नो प्रॉब्लम नाउ यू शूड डू ओके Now let's come to again. So evaluate this. What is the value? This is the simple value. This gates will cancel to this. So what is this? <coughs> this will value is one by two minus one by four. It is nothing but one by four. Okay? So probability at x equal to two is one by four. Correct? Hai? Okay. Now I have to find <coughs> one thing that is left. Uh, probability of x greater than equal to one, and that's nothing but One minus probability of x less than one. Correct? Hai? So this is less than equal to one. But one, one, they go one. How many like that? Probability of x less than equal to one. So one to continuous, continuous quantity. Hai. So वहाँ पे value को मैं one रखूँ या ना रखूँ कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता. One को मैं count करूँ या ना करूँ कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता क्योंकि वहाँ पे distribution function मेरा continuous है. So this again I will do the exercise. Please do. See if I will do, now you are not going to learn. I have given enough background. Okay, first you should try. Then if any problem comes, I will do. Now tell me in the comment where to do it. I will do that. Don't problem, but you should try. Okay. What is f of one? Now f of one you should calculate. This is nothing but one by four plus four minus one by eight. So this is nothing but uh, yeah. What is this? So eight you can take calcium. Eight. This is two. Uh, this is three by eight, so this is three by eight. Okay, so probability of x greater than equal to one is three by eight. Now let's add it to everything. Okay, so what you have asked me, 
you have asked me probability of x equal to 0, probability of x equal to 1.5 plus probability of x equal to 2 plus probability of x greater than equal to 1. Probability of x equal to 1 by 4, probability of x equal to 1 by 0, 1 by 4 plus 3 by 8. Now I take it tells here, this is 2 plus 2 plus 3. So this is 7 by 8. So answer is 7 by 8. Take it Forget. See, आप अगर try करते हैं तो हद से हद क्या होता? Answer गलत आता है। But आप उन लोगों से तो better है ना जिन्होंने try नहीं किया। So at least try करना चाहिए, ठीक है ना? अगर आप जरम का total दे दो statistics का, you should look। आपको पता चलेगा कि कहाँ problem है। ठीक आपको mathematics अच्छी नहीं है। क्या होता है? Monotone function, radial में बहुत problem हो सकता है। No problem, problems तो होना ही चाहिए। We are we are studying mathematics। कोई history तो है नहीं कि सॉल्यूशन भी आपको ढूंढना है उसमें जहां तक होगा मेरे साइड से आई डू दैट सो समथिंग इज रिटन हियर थिंक अबाउट इट वी विल डू एंड आई हैव अपलोड मोर वीडियोस ऑन इट सो दैट योर कॉन्फिडेंस विल बूस्ट अप एंड यू विल बी फील वेरी गुड एंड रिलैक्स ठीक है तो अगर आप गेट का एग्जाम दे रहे हैं तो सेफ्टी क्वेश्चंस आते हैं गेट में आपको पता होना चाहिए कैसे करना है नहीं करना है ओके सो आई होप यू गॉट द आईडिया हाउ आई हैव यूज्ड आई हैव यूज्ड द टू कांसेप्ट व्हाट डू मीन बाय द रैंडम वेरिएबल एंड व्हाट इज द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फंक्शन those properties I have used and I am able to calculate this answer. Okay? So I hope you got the idea. Thank you for watching my videos. It really means a lot to me. Thank you so much.